But hey folks, Mike from Profiling Evil. I'm sitting here in New York City, downtown Midtown, and I was kind of taken aback today as I sat in my office by some comments made by New York City Mayor Eric Adams, where he announced on Monday morning that uh, his idea to solve the swarm of thousands of undocumented immigrants that are coming into the city here is for residents to start renting out spare rooms to those people. I don't know what your thoughts are, but I am really against this idea. Well, hey everybody, welcome to Profiling Evil. I hope you'll take a moment and hit that like and subscribe button. I think and make sure you're ringing the bell so you get all of our notifications. I'm in downtown uh, New York City, just outside of my office today, taking a minute to talk about this comment by Mayor Adams about the immigration problem and all of the migrants that are coming into the city. Some estimates are 40,000 right now. You know, last night I stayed at one of my favorite JFK hotels, the Hilton at JFK only to learn that they've sold the hotel and they're going to turn it over to handle uh, low-income housing, which I am not against in any way, shape, or form. If there's a way to help out people that need the help, I'm all for it. But what I'm not for is this crazy idea by the mayor that people like you and me ought to rent out homes to our people, to undocumented migrants that are coming into the United States. It is my vision uh, to take the next step to this, to go to the faith-based uh, locales, and then move to uh, private residents. Uh, they are residents who are suffering right now because of economic challenges. They have spare rooms. Uh, they have locales. And if we can find a way to get over the 30-day rule and other rules that government has in, in its place, we can take that $4.2 billion, $4.3 it may be now, that we potentially would have to spend, and we can put it back in the pockets of everyday New Yorkers, everyday houses of worship, instead of putting it in the pockets of corporations. And some of those... Not only does this sound stupid to me, it sounds incredibly dangerous. This is something that the government should be doing. They should be putting together whatever it is that's needed to help these people survive, to have housing, and to be able to get a pathway towards citizenship where they can be contributing parts of the community here. But the idea that Adams has, that you and I should give a room in our homes to people that we don't know, that we haven't vetted properly, and rent them a room in our house is absolutely foolish. You know, I talk about the risk continuum all the time at Profiling Evil. And folks, if there's a way for you to go from having a low-risk lifestyle to becoming high-risk, I think Mayor Adams has found a way. It's called allow people to live in your home that you don't know anything about. I think, frankly, people who do it anyway are taking a lot of risk into their lives that they don't need to. Some people say they're doing it because they can't afford to pay their bills. The government under... Adams is saying, hey, maybe we'll figure out a way to give you back some of that money. Regardless, the government should be putting together uh, situations like selling the Hilton Hotel that they sold that in just a couple of weeks is going to turn into housing. But it's controlled housing that has contracts and has people running it. I mean, who's going to sit outside of your home at night to protect you from somebody that you have no idea who they are that's now living in your home? You're going to need to look at getting cameras, putting interior locks on your doors, making sure your own sleeping space is safe. Folks, again, don't swarm me with a whole bunch of hate mail because I'm saying something about migration and, and immigrants coming into the country. I'm not. What I'm saying is Mayor Adams from New York City's idea that you ought to rent your house out or rooms in your house to these undocumented migrants is absolutely crazy talk in my opinion. Now I'm gonna be looking for your comments down below and I hope you'll take time to weigh in. But frankly, it's gonna mean that you're putting your most prized possessions or your own je safety in jeopardy by bringing people in that you have no idea who they are or what they are. 
This is something that landlords should be handling in a professional manner, not people like you and me working down at the uh, piggly wiggly doing in the night to try to make ends meet. I hope there's a better way. It might even include getting a second job. I don't know. And I don't want to be judgmental in any way about uh, how you end up paying your bills. But again, if you want to increase your risk, I think Mayor Adams has a great idea for you. Otherwise, I'd say leave the renting to people that are in the business of renting and, and uh, take it easy for them. Well, thanks for listening to Profiling Evil, folks. And before I sign off, I want to just recap a couple of things. Number one, that Mayor Adams here in New York City has come up with this convoluted idea that you and I ought to rent out our apartments, our homes, make rooms available for this influx of migrants. While it's lofty and a really nice thing to do to think about how to help the migrant population, I can't think of anything better to increase your own level of personal risk. You know, just a month ago, the New York Police Department converted part of an active working police facility into housing for undocumented migrants here in the city. It's a move that has brought a ton of criticism, and I'm going to add to that criticism. I mean, this makeshift shelter was erected in a police department. It's, it's a facility that's down on East 20th Street, and here's the deal. The building is not appropriate for children. It's not appropriate for migrants. There are people that we have no idea what their backgrounds are, if they have criminal histories, if they're sexual predators. We don't know anything about this, but families, women, and children are having to live in this place because there's no place for them to go. It's not an appropriate place. In fact, the city can't just continue to shelter all these people. And I'm sure that's one of the reasons why Mayor Adams is coming up with this idea to help with all of this. But here's the deal. You got to have private sleeping quarters for people. You can't have shared uh, areas. This is a building, a police department that has weapons inside of it. And frankly, the police department's having the staff officers to watch these people, especially overnight. Now, the, the mayor is wanting to lean on the, the religious community, and he's offering money to help support that, even as much as 100 bucks a night or something like that. Nonetheless, it's still going to require either church members or someone else to be in those buildings to kind of keep control over what's going on overnight. It places people at risk, people that aren't professionals in handling those kinds of situations. It's a situation that the city is trying to figure out, but they're hoping that the religious community or normal citizens will bail them out on. And frankly, it's a New York PD nightmare because they're having to put police officers on duty in the middle of the night to watch people in their police department. A police department that has weapons and other kinds of things going on. I mean, these guys are, are putting their guns in their lockers at night when they go home and we're leaving people inside this building. There's not a lot known about these people who are coming in, the migrants. So we don't know their criminal histories, or if they have any criminal history at all. Now the mayor says it's his vision to take this thing to the next level. Go to the faith-based communities and then the private residents. I think it's a bad idea and I wanna know what your thoughts are. So please put your comments down below. And again, this isn't bashing the migrant or the migrant situation. People need to be given a pathway to citizenship. I'm all for it. Your family and probably mine came from a different country before getting into the United States but there has to be a way to do it in a way that's safe for everybody involved. Hey, I hope you'll hit that like and subscribe button, ring the bell. I hope you'll check out our channel memberships. My favorite, as I've said before, is the academy level. And uh, it's a place where you can get a whole lot of information for just a little bit more. I hope you'll watch for us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course here on YouTube. And folks, if you like uh, podcasts, check out Profiling Evil Podcasts on your favorite podcast platform. So thanks from Profiling Evil, and we'll see you soon at the next crime scene.